Hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. In this video on proofs, we will be discussing contraposition, which is a slightly less intuitive way to prove something. The way contraposition works is that if you want to show that P implies Q, it is equivalent to showing that not P implies, or sorry, not Q implies not P, where these little symbols right here mean not. Uh, so if you show it this way, you are also showing that P implies Q. So let's do a few examples. The first is a simple example that we did in a previous video, if you have watched them up until now. If we have that A does not divide BC, this means that A cannot divide b, where a, b, and c are just some integers. And by using contraposition, we're going to rearrange it to say that not q, or otherwise a does divide b, implies that a does divide b times c, which uh, we've shown before, so I'll just do it real quickly. A divides B implies that uh, A is some multiple of B, so K is just some integer. Therefore, B times C is equal to A times K times C, which is obviously a multiple of A, since um, K times C is just an integer. And therefore, we have shown that A divides BC. And by contraposition, we've shown that A, if A does not divide BC, then A does not divide B. Uh, and we can do one more, slightly more interesting example using contraposition. Uh, so what we want to show is that if 2 to the n minus 1 is prime, this necessarily means that n is prime. And so we're going to use contraposition, which means that we want to show that if n is not prime, then 2 to the n minus 1 is not prime. So, if n is not prime, that means there exists some numbers a and b, which multiplied together equal n, where a and b are some natural numbers, and a and b um, are not 1. So this means that 2 to the n minus 1 is equal to 2 to the a times b minus 1. And if we have this, we can factor it into 2 to the a times, this is the exponent, so 2 to the a times b divided by 2 minus 1. And 2 to the a times b divided by 2 plus 1. If you multiply these out, you get this. This means that 2 to the n minus 1 can be factored into two numbers, two integers, which are not um, 1 which means that 2 to the n minus 1 is composite, which means that it is not prime. Therefore, we've shown that if n is not prime, 2 to the n minus 1 is not prime. And by contraposition, we've shown that if 2 to the n minus 1 is prime, then n is prime. And that is that for contraposition. If you want to see more videos about proofs, you can click right there to see the playlist. If you want to subscribe to the Center of Math uh, YouTube channel, you can click right there. 
If you want to go to our website, centerofmath.org, you can click there. And if you're on a mobile device, you can hit the I in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Thank you very much.